Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 17th of 2020. Well, it is titled Neowise of the North. So what do we see here? Well, again, we are looking at the comet known as Neowise. And here is an image taken uh, just a couple of days ago from Canada. And we can see the comet again in the central portions of the screen, the bright head of the comet pointing down toward the horizon, and the tail stretching off towards the upper right hand side. Now the tail we're seeing is the dust tail, which is the brighter of the two tails of the comet and it is curved as it is heavier particles and they are left behind by the orbit of the comet so as the comet slowly moves through space these heavier particles get left behind in the orbit now we also see in addition the northern lights or the aurora so very far northern areas will see this greenish glow in the sky and this occurs when charged particles from the sun strike the Earth's magnetic field and funnel along it towards the north and south uh, poles, north and south magnetic poles, I should qualify. And where it hits the atmosphere, those particles will excite oxygen atoms. When oxygen atoms are excited, they glow green. So the green glow that we see here is uh, caused by particles from the sun. Now in a way it's also related to the comet. The comet is caused by the sun as well. The nucleus of it is not. But when that nucleus gets close to the sun it is heated up and material is vaporized from the surface and then pushed back away from it. So the head and tail of the comet are formed by the sun as well. And they only occur during those times when the comet is in the inner solar system passing closer to the sun. When it heads back out to the outer solar system, it'll essentially just be a ball of ice and rock out in the solar system for thousands of years before this comet happens to come back in again. But here we actually get a nice image showing the two of them and two very different things at different distances. The aurora is actually very close to us within our own atmosphere and the comet is much further away in our solar system and in the inner part of our solar system but much much further away than the aurora. And we can look beyond that we can see a number of stars and as you look at the stars out in the sky those are much further away as well. So we get a different uh, different things at different depths here from the nearby Aurora part of our own planet to another object within our solar system the comet known as Neowise to the distant stars that we can see here in the sky. So that was our picture of the day for July the 17th of 2020. It was titled Neowise of the North. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.